Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Preston Adventures TV. Today is not really a Preston's adventure. Uh, this is Preston's dad. He hadn't used this channel in so long, so I figured I'd post something on there. He's kind of wrapped up playing Fortnite all day, every day. <clears throat> but I figured I'd do a product install video. Uh, this is putting on exhaust heat wrap uh, on a Harley uh, Iron 1200. It's a 2018 model. And what I'm going to do is remove the heat shield from the exhausts and wrap them with the uh, fiberglass heat wrap. Inside the kit comes instructions, silver tie downs, and gloves, and of course the heat wrap. Um, I don't like the look of these silver uh, stainless steel zip ties, not to say they don't work. I just like the look of the, the clamps. So I purchased two of these clamps at Lowe's and I'm gonna use these to secure the heat wrap to the uh, exhaust. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, it's gonna be off with the old. So that's these heat shields. Um, it's a couple of these warm clamps right here, these pipe clamps that you have to take off. So I'll go ahead and get that done. The pipes are prepped. The heat shields have been removed. Only thing I have to do now is soak the wrap in water. And I'm here anywhere from 15 minutes to five minutes to don't soak it at all. So I'm gonna do maybe a couple minutes until I can feel it soft. But I'm gonna put on some gloves first. Okay, so I'm going to fold over a little bit on itself and wrap once around. I'm going to put the fold in the back right there. There we go. And you want to keep it as tight as possible. Just take your time and wrap it. Okay, now that I got it started, I'm gonna go ahead and put my clamp on to hold it down. And now I'm just continuing this process on up the pipe. Catch y'all in a minute. Okay, I'm about ready to end it here. So I'm just gonna take my knife and cut it off. All right. Get my other clamp ready. I 
All right, there's one down, one to go. Looks pretty good so far. Fits right, right along with the style of the bike. I'm probably gonna get away with doing this with just one roll. Uh, there was a lot, of, a lot left over after that one pipe, so. They're similar in size. This one maybe two inches longer. Um, or so it appears. So I'm gonna just go with this and use this to finish it up. Okay, uh, same process. I'm gonna start with a fold and wrap it around and put my clamp on and hold it. Rip my glove. Gotta get a new one. Okay, so I've gotten to the end and I have all of this left over. This is a 50 foot roll. So if you're planning on doing this to this Sportster or anything of similar size, one roll is enough and then you'll have extra left over. So I'm gonna cut this so I don't have so much to fish through. That's both of them. Process finished. Um, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend these little tabs down, uh, let them hug a little bit closer to the uh, pipe, so any, I don't scratch myself or snag anything on it. I'm gonna move it out into the uh, yard, crank it up, and watch it steam and dry up. Okay, the last step is to go ahead and start it up and let it dry out, heat up for a few minutes, probably let it run about five, six minutes, maybe more depending on when the smoke stops. So let's go ahead and fire up. pigs will go on the outside of the engine guard but that's another project that I'll tackle another day and I'll try to post a video all right uh, I think Preston always says uh, don't forget to like and subscribe peace share share the love <laughs>